On the 15th of December 2015, Tim Peake will become the first British astronaut to travel to the International Space Station with the European Space Agency. He's going to spend five months up there doing experiments and scientific studies while looking back down at the Earth from 400 kilometres above its surface. But who is Tim Peake? What is his mission? And what problems is he going to face living on the International Space Station for five months? Well, Tim was born in England and he joined the Army as an Army Air Corps officer. And in that he's managed to fly 30 different types of helicopter in his time. He's even managed to teach other people how to fly helicopters. In 2009, he was selected as a European Space Agency astronaut. Tim was eventually picked to go to the International Space Station. Now, the really cool thing about going on a mission to the International Space Station is you get to choose the name of the mission. Tim chose the name Principia after the work done by Isaac Newton on gravity. So how's Tim going to get to the International Space Station? Well, like all other trips up there, Tim will be flying on a Russian Soyuz rocket. Now, the International Space Station is only 400 kilometers above the surface of the Earth, which means the rocket doesn't need to be as big as it was when we used to take people to the moon, but it's still pretty big. The rocket will launch on December 15th, 2015 from Kazakhstan. But Tim isn't going up alone. He's going to be joined by NASA astronaut Tim Kopra and Russian cosmonaut Yuri Malenchenko. Now, there's already six people up at the International Space Station, which means when they arrive, for a short time, there'll be nine people living up in space. But three of these astronauts are soon going to come back down to Earth, and Tim will be up there for just five months before he comes back down. So what's Tim going to do for five months when he's up at the International Space Station? Well, I reckon a lot of his time he's just going to be looking out at the Earth through one of the windows on the International Space Station. But it has to be one of the most amazing views to be able to see the Earth from out in space. Maybe he'll even record a song for us like the astronaut Chris Hadfield did. But the main thing he's going to be doing when he's up there is doing some really great science experiments. Up at the International Space Station, there's some really great experiments that we just can't do down here on Earth. Up there, there's zero gravity, and outside the International Space Station, there's some really extreme radiation, and you're inside a giant vacuum. And these are conditions that are really hard to recreate down here on Earth. Tim will help to continue some experiments to see if life can survive in the cold vacuum of space. It might even give us some hints as to whether life can still exist on Mars. And it'll also be part of an experiment to see if we can learn more about the mental condition of astronauts just by their voices. Scientists think the way we speak tell us more about our mental condition. This could be really useful when we send astronauts on long, isolated journeys throughout the solar system. And it'll also be part of a really cool experiment where he tries to control a robotic rover down here on Earth while he's up at the International Space Station. Now this is really good, because if it works, what it means is that astronauts in the future will be able to control robotic rovers such on the surface of Mars while they're orbiting around Mars. But it's not going to be easy for Tim. He's had to go through a lot of training to prepare himself for living on the International Space Station. He's had to go through training to prepare himself for zero gravity by working underwater. But even with all this training, there's still a lot of things that can be very different up in the International Space Station than they are down here on Earth. And using the toilet is going to be a really strange experience. He's going to have to get used to peeing in the tube for five months, and also strapping himself down to the toilet when he needs to go, so he doesn't just float away. It's also really hard to sleep up in space. There's no up or down because there's no gravity. So when you sleep, you simply sleep in a sleeping bag which floats around the International Space Station in zero gravity. But there are some things for Tim to look forward to. A competition to design mills for Tim to take up to the International Space Station was held last year. And some of the winners include a three course meal lollipop and a full English breakfast burger. Now, I'm sure Tim will appreciate these meals when he's eating the regular meals for five months when he's up there. So there's going to be a lot of really fun things that Tim will be able to do on the International Space Station. But he also has a lot of work to do. Hopefully he can get some really great science and experiments done when he's up there and inspire a lot more people into science. Thank you very much for watching, don't forget to check out the rest of my channel for some great science videos, and also don't forget to like and subscribe. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys all soon.